when we talk about race, we have to recognize a couple of things. One, that race is a mythic but powerful sociological invention. There are no data to suggest that there are biological differences, uh, uh, you know, with respect to race or ethnicity that would instigate differences or disparities in mental health outcomes. What we see, though, are the consequences, uh, the byproducts of social experiences of race. One of the things we know from decades of scientific research is that racism is a biopsychosocial stressor that many people who are um, existing in marginalized communities face. And racism produces effects that are physiologic, that are um, psychological, and that affect the well-being of, of individuals in really pronounced ways. And one of those things that we often see that is largely unacknowledged by the clinical community is racial trauma. And these are the traumas that can happen not just as a, by a consequence of your direct exposure to racism, but also secondary exposure or what we call vicarious trauma. And yet our clinical and diagnostic tools fail to list racism as a viable source of trauma for folks. And that has implications for our training enterprise. That means that clinicians are not prepared to address, to det detect or respond to racial trauma that presents among populations. So we also know that there is a longstanding and documented um, history of unequal treatment among black, indigenous and people of color by healthcare providers. And those of us who work alongside medically underserved communities know this well and have been working to advance health equity.